What's up, guys? War here. Welcome back to the channel. I really wanted to make just a really, really quick uh, video about your stash and all of your items coming from season one of the Malignant, or you know, season one, season one of the Malignant, uh, and just kind of talk about that real quick. I know a lot of people had a lot of questions, so I logged back into Diablo 4, and you should probably see this if you haven't logged in in a while, or maybe you just skipped over it, but. Um, this will pop up the next time that you log in um, and it kind of just goes over with the season of blood beginning October 17th which is in seven days from the day of this video at 10 a.m. we want to ensure that your hard-earned gear from the season of the malignant transfers to the eternal realm with you which is very important okay and with the limited amount of stash that we have it's very important that you have time to kind of go through and sniff through everything that you want to keep or get rid of or whatever you want to do so once the season of malignant ends which is the 17th all seasonal characters or it's probably actually a couple days prior all seasonal characters will be transferred to the eternal realm all items in that character's season of the malignant stash will go to a new withdraw only stash tab in the eternal realm you have all of the season of blood to withdraw any items you would like to keep from the season of the malignant any items left in the withdraw only stash tab once season of blood ends will be unrecoverable this is actually really really nice this is a similar thing that they did in diablo 3 where soon as the season ends and you log back in for the first time since the season ends you have 30 days to withdraw any gear that you would like to keep otherwise it all goes into the void so this is very similar but now we have the entire season of blood to withdraw any items with that we need which is roughly three months so when you log back in do not be alarmed once the new season starts all of your characters will be transferred over and you'll have all of your gear it'll be in a separate uh stash tab so what this means is, is like all of my seasonal characters are going to become just like this with this symbol for the um eternal characters and then all of my loot will be transferred into a tab so when i load into the game here with my my ba sorcerer here um what you're gonna see is like your normal stash tabs it's gonna just gonna be next to it so you're gonna go in and you're just gonna go uh to my stash here and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna see an additional stash tab oh man the game feels so weird because i've been playing out so much uh path of exile so you'll have another withdraw tab um, and then you'll just be able to come in here and just mess with any inventory issues that you have and just throw them in there keep whatever you want to keep um, and trash whatever you want to trash etc um, and then you are good to go so me i have so many characters and so much inventory to go over that's just my normal eternal inventory so let me go to like my my badass necromancer here that i'm excited to play in season two that's what i'm going to be playing let me know down in the comments guys what you're going to be playing at the start of season two if you're playing um but you guys can see like in my stash here i have all five really used up now a lot of this stuff i can just trash and it's not a big deal but stuff that i have leveled up here these are like full builds these are full builds i've done for the character um so like for my necromancer i'm wearing one build this is a build this is a build uh this bottom row is a build and these are extra items to swap out in these builds so i have to try to figure out all the inventory space for all of this um on top of uniques a lot of the uniques i can probably dump but keeping a lot of these items because a lot of this stuff is going to be best in slot because i played so much of the season um so like deciding what you want to keep and not keep is very important and i think by default a lot of people should just let stuff go but if you like a lot of these items that you really got some really good rolls on and really good things then maybe just keep them but with all of the item changes to resistances and item power and all of these things and the vulnerable and crit strike damage stuff being changed a lot of these items are probably not going to be as good as something that you're going to find in season two but for anything that you do want to keep in the meantime just know that you have the entire length of the season two season of blood to withdraw everything from that stash tab, which I think is actually pretty gnarly. 
Um, I think it's a very, very cool thing that they're giving you such a long time to kind of go through your inventory. Considering we only have five stash tabs, and if you play a lot of characters like I do, that stash like runs out pretty quick. It fills up pretty fast. So yeah, just wanted to bring this quick little video to you guys so you guys can see the update to your stash tabs if you guys were concerned about that from season one, if you guys are still playing. So like the video, comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe if you guys are new, and as always, stay gaming. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.